What it's like to be a billionaire in South Africa. Welcome to Luxology, where the secrets of becoming the future billionaire and living a luxurious life are revealed. Despite being well known in the world through its mining industries, South Africa is still heavily burdened by the rising level of poverty and unemployment. As it is ranked under the top 10 countries in the world in terms of income and equality, you'll be surprised to know that around 10% of the people hold the net worth of around 71% of the people of this country. However, with all the hardships faced by them every day, South Africa is still producing one of the top billionaires in the world who are also generously giving their money in eradicating inequality in the country. To give you a glimpse of how these super billionaires climbed their ladder to the top, here are the top five billionaires in South Africa you must know about. Number one, Elon Musk. Being born in Pretoria, the capital of South Africa, Elon Musk dreamt of becoming the richest man in the world since childhood, which also has been admitted by his father recently. However, as the level of discrimination between black and white in Pretoria was increasing at a massive scale, Elon not only refused to participate in the mandatory South African military service, but also decided to leave the country after graduating from high school. Surprisingly, the high school was also not sweet on him, because once he was intentionally pushed down from the stairs by a group of bullies that got him hospitalized. Nevertheless, despite facing all the challenges in life, this South African-born kid has now finally fulfilled his dream of becoming the richest man in the world with his net worth of $265 billion. Number two, Ivan Glazenberg. Unlike Elon Musk, Ivan Glazenberg became a billionaire by developing his roots in South Africa. Born to a Jewish family in Ilovo, South Africa, Ivan's father was a luggage manufacturer and an importer that failed to help him out in building his business in the country. However, being a champion race walker, Ivan found his way of becoming the CEO of Glencore, one of the world's largest commodity trading and mining companies. And today, he stands at 223rd position in the world billionaires list with a net worth of $5.5 billion. Number three, Johan Rupert. Being the eldest son of the South African business tycoon, it is surprising to notice how Johan is connected with the needs of the local people. In September 2015, when the famous British design magazine Wallpaper described the Afrikaans language as one of the ugliest languages in the world, Rupert retaliated by cancelling the promotion of famous brands like Cartier, Alfred Dunhill from the entire magazine. Furthermore, he funds around 65 sports projects globally with the utter belief that sports has the capacity to eradicate social issues and unite people beyond imagination. So, you can imagine how his humble and hardworking nature has today made him the CEO of one of the famous Swiss luxury goods manufacturing company, Compagnie Financière Richemont. Not to forget, in 2021, Rupert was ranked as the third richest man in South Africa with a net worth of $7.1 billion and currently stands at 230th position among the richest people in the world. Number four, Nicky Oppenheimer. When it comes to becoming the richest man in Africa, the race between Nicky Oppenheimer and Johan Rupert never seems to reach its end mark. And the race between the two not only surrounds around money, but also with respect to who will contribute more toward helping the people and economy of Africa. As Nicky has been the chairman of one of the well-known diamond mining company called De Beers, it seems understood how he became the second richest man in South Africa with a net worth of $7.6 billion. However, just like Rupert, Nicky's philanthropic desire encouraged him to establish Brenthurst Foundation in 2005. That focuses on creating policies that further helps in enormous growth of Africa's economy and the sustainable environment of the country. Number five. Patrice Motsepe. If you want to learn how to turn a small mining business into a multi-billion dollar company, then Patrice Motsepe is the one who can guide you in this direction. 
from being the founder of African Rainbow Minerals to becoming the non-executive chairman of the world's 12th largest gold mining company, Harmony Gold. You can guess how easy it is for him to grab an actual gold bar without anyone questioning him for it. However, this enormous success did not come easy for him. Patrice's father was the owner of a spaza shop that was famous amongst the black mine workers. Luckily, this shop helped Patrice understand and learn the basic principles of running a successful business and also a first-hand experience of mining. In 1997, when the gold prices were low, Patrice considered this a perfect opportunity to expand his business and decided to purchase six gold mines at low prices by taking up loans from different sources. And soon, his strategy worked perfectly in his favour because the rise in gold prices in the future helped him pay off all his debts and made him the owner of successful gold mines. Today, he has a net worth of $2.9 billion and in 2012, he was also named as the richest person in South Africa. So, these were the top five South African billionaires who despite facing all the issues at their country, managed to climb their way to the top. This also sets a positive example for all the people who are watching this video. No matter what circumstances you're facing in your country or at the place where you live, if you're willing to move forward, if you're willing to achieve what you desire, no one, yes, no one can ever stop you. Because once you take that first step, the universe will make sure to support you along the way. It is all about taking the leap of faith. So, what do you think about these South African billionaires? Do you feel inspired through their story? Tell us in the comments section below. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to mention them in the comments section and we will surely respond to your request. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press that like button if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching.